Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes three and four of my Otome. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. Yes. Yeah, but what about you? I'm gonna get you. Yes, sir. Wait, no, 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 That's a little too important, boo. <sighs> but see, hold on. Once again, this is, you know, her princess privilege. <laughs> Shit, all you, you can't have Nina and Ari fight during a coordination. That's the most important thing of the year. Even if Ari could be a princess, possibly, even though we don't know. But at the same time, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm, same. This is Shadow's princess privilege. Our privileged princess. I don't even know if we should call her. Because, see, knowing me, instead of calling her Shadow, or Inish, for as, like, her nickname, I'm probably going to end up calling her princess privilege. Because she seems a little, like, ever since last week when I watched the first two episodes, she is a little stuck up. She is a little mean. Hell, you had your fucking maid introduce you when you could have introduced yourself. I get that. I mean, yeah, you know, you a higher up. You're going to have someone introduce you. If it's me meeting someone for the first time, I'm going to introduce them. If I'm introducing someone's friend, I'm like, hey, this such and such. And this is my other friend, such and such. So y'all can meet. And such. I just had that happen between my friends, who's my neighbor, and her friend was walking, and I'm walking my dog, and she's like, hey, kitty, this is such and such, my friend. I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Privilege much. <laughs> but it's okay. Shido's still angry, that's all. I get it. Do we really have to do it? <laughs> Somebody is asking to be get fired.
Okay. Mm. Yeah, but that's only if you defeat Nina. That too. Not right now. Mm. <laughs> they so cute. They gotta be dating. You can just tell like, the chemistry that these two have. It's so freaking obvious. But yeah, you know, you kind of want to confirm it. Confirm it, please. This is a really bad idea. Why would you have it at a coordination of all things? Hmm. Oh, it's the girl from episode one. Oh. So, on uh, would that be her mom? Are Anina and Ari related? There's so many unanswered questions right now. This is only episode three. Mm -hmm. Someone watching it? Is it Ari? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes.
Well, I mean, hell, is there a way to stop this? But we would have to talk to my shit. And, you know, Miss Princess Privilege don't really feel like listening to y'all, right? Because it's already set set in stone. We're doing this no matter what. See, I like me and his dad, but he's something about him ain't right to me. And I could be, it just could be a little teeny tiny feeling. I could be wrong, but just, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, God. (laughs) Okay, so I'm not sure if she's just a stand in princess. Oh, 
much. It looks nice. I gotta say, the coronation gives you hella, like, royal wedding vibes, but not like, I mean, of course, it's gonna be big, big, but like, oh god. Yeah, but something tells me it's going to be ruined by these two people in black. <laughs> Poor baby, she's so mad about what's her face being delayed. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Oh, damn. oh Jesus! Nina beating the crap out of her. Oh my God! Oh,
Mm-mm. She's not going to be able to avoid that, is she? How she might even be more powerful than Nina. I mean, you know, mm. Now you're telling me nobody is hearing this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just when it was getting good, of course. Gotta end it right here, of course. Of course. Alrighty. Mm. This fight, like, okay. And the first little bit of it, of course, was one half because you already saw that Nina was kicking Ari's ass. Like, damn. Poor baby. <laughs> like, oh my god, she was getting her ass handed to it, like, straight up. But I think once, like, Ari finally figured out, okay, this is my dream, this is what I want to do. No matter what, I'm not giving up on it. And as she says, like, once her grandma said, once you have a dream, never, ever let go of it and such. And so she has to prove herself. But now, since because of the castle or really the kingdom getting under the attack, you know, this battle is like, eh -eh, like, we got to put this on a little hiatus real quick and necessarily, you know, go fight the bad guys and such. Um, okay, so the big question I kind of have, like, all right, so... Someone said that one of the girls is a sophomore, so I'm guessing the strongest currently is a senior, but then you have the girls who um, graduated, so like the headmistress, and I like to say the headmistress's girlfriend, because the headmistress's girlfriend, like, she already doing her own thing. We have already saw that last week, and we're seeing it again this week, because, I mean, she over here kicking butt and taking names, like, oh my god. Like, she, when she, like, she had a feeling, she turned around, she was like, you know what, I'm gonna go investigate. You guys stay here, continue watching this fight, I'm gonna go kick some ass real quick. But, like, oh. <laughs> So something kind of tells me that because of whatever is going to happen by the end of this episode going into the next episode, that is going to be Ari's ticket into the Academy and such. Instead of doing the fight between Nina, they're going to look at the fight as her experience, but looking at how she stopped did was able to save everyone because at the end of the day, Vigatome's job is to save people and also to five bad guys. And because of the fact is like both of them stopped. Of course, like Nina's adoptive father ordered her to hey, say, Hey, you need to come protect your highness. And Ari's just like for a moment she stands there and she sees what's going on. She's like, Okay, no, I gotta save everyone. They're going to issue that as, okay, you did good last week. You feel like you got your butt kicked by Nina, but you still have potential. So we're going to go ahead and let you into school, like, free of charge, no administration, free administration, free everything and such. And then that's when we're going to see her start initially honing her craft and, you know, maybe kind of be friendly with Nina because Nina, like I said, Nina is a little privileged as well. But I, I don't, like, like I said, she ain't princess privilege. Nina, Nina's just privilege, privilege. Um, in a way, because, you know, all of us, we all privilege with the issue that we have. And then some people are going to be a little bit stuck up. And that's kind of what Nina is at times, especially with fighting for something that she really cares about and such. I do want to know more about Nina's past. And especially, like, because the fact is her father adopted her. 
why was he bleeding? One, of course, he had to get hurt by something. But was it because of Nina or was it because of something else? There's still a lot of unanswered questions. And this is only episode three out of a 26 episode series. And of course, I got to wait to find out what the heck is going to happen next. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. BTW, if you hear anything else in the background, they're currently cleaning out here and, you know, doing the grass and stuff. So just in case you hear lawn mowers, leaf blowers, whatever, that's them outside as the workers. Oh, you're the one who was late. I mean, she just threw it like it was nothing. Okay! Stop worrying. You got in. <laughs> it's okay. You got in.
You sure? Since now you're a queen, you gotta do a lot of paperwork. Um, basically rules. Hmm? Oh. crazy though I, I mean <laughs> yeah. so that's the reason why there's literally no guys around here
show her around. Mm-hmm. Really? I mean, ever since episode one, all we've seen is mean. I think she's only really kind to her adopted dad. That's it.
Yeah, but she's never met her. Oh, just a bathhouse. <laughs> I'll just take a bath together. There you are. Is it supposed to be glowing red like that?
a little much. Not to me. We'll, we'll talk about that when this episode is over. But like, woo! <laughs> Sweet. Uh-oh. So now who was that who just took the uniform that was... <laughs> I was already just, oh God, what's going to happen? Okay, let's talk about the freaking elephant in the room. So once they agree to this, they can't fall in love with any guy. They can't experience certain things that, like, myself or any other woman gets to experience and such. With the opposite sex. Now, I mean, because it seems like they got no problem if they fall in love with the same sex and stuff like that. So, I mean, if it goes into that territory, I am fine with that. Because, you know, your girl supports same sex no matter what. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I do not think I can do it. Like, I just, I love guys too much. Like, I cannot really try to be one of these like I I mean like if kids you're agreeing to basically in a way you're staying a virgin forever you will never fall in love with someone you will never experience the joy of being in love with a guy or even possibly able to have kids or anything and even if you do you're risking losing becoming an atome so <laughs> <laughs> a big no for me. Big, big, big no. I, mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't know if I could do that. Like, big, big no. No, 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 no. I, I mean, because, like, especially, like, okay, so let's say you... Oh, God, this reminds me of Motherland Fort Salem because, like, Jesus. Well, no, because the Motherland Fort Salem, they they still kind of get to have a relationship with the, the freaking warlocks, even though they're witches and stuff. And these witches are supposed to be, like, our founding fathers and our army and our navy and our military saving the world and the same thing with the male like the warlocks and it's like that and they're able to have a relationship in that show but in this show it's like <laughs> you know you have to serve your master possibly up till the day you die like oh my god like no i yeah i could not do that that's crazy like seriously i i can't imagine because see like as me like Yes, as someone who is very quiet and shy and to herself, when there is a guy that I have a crush on, like I will flirt and flirt that <laughs> and flirt. I will. I I've done it so many times, and even with like some guys that I've liked even till now, or like psh, reading a whole bunch of anime fan fiction with a really good like, you know, of course, anime has bundo because anime has bundo is initially like that. But when it comes to like. If this was real, and if we were in a situation like this, and, to, oh, God. Yeah, this is why I'm getting all the Yuri feels from this show. Because, I mean, if they can't have a relationship with the opposite sex, they can only have a relationship um, with the same sex and such. And you can see that they, there's a couple of girls, like... I think, um, the, okay, in the bath scene, the, the two girls who were talking, not the one with the um, spiral pigtails, the one with the dark bluish hair who we also saw last week when um, Arika was running around the school and stuff and she caught Arika and like, you know, dipped her down and it's like that. And I was like, okay, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of strong Yuri vibes from this one. I feel like she likes <laughs> likes women and that is okay and such i mean especially with the headmistress and like i said headmistress girlfriend it seems like that as well so it makes you wonder like who is a uh, the friend and who is the girlfriend of this very almost gives me um yuri kuma vibes almost 
almost a little bit a little bit the only thing i would say like unless we see someone a, a type of romance type series into it but yeah uh, but the okay so the bad guys can we talk about that too are, are they just a group of men because it, it seems like it because we've already met like what <laughs> two guys oh, it's for people who got male voices so i'm guessing that that's what it possibly is i'm not 100 percent sure but it seems like that <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. Don't get me wrong, but, like, honestly, the battles of this, even though this is episode four, I, I really cannot wait to see how, um, how more extravagant some of these bot battles will be. Because, I mean, typically, with me, in my opinion, like, okay, when I'm watching a show that has battles in it, I always love watching it because, number one, that is, like, art in, you know, three, four, five minutes of whatever. It's beautiful and the way it's crafted and, you know, how people have to take their time to do this, is that, and the third and techniques and everything, especially when, you know, we're animating it and then full form and such. I, I just want to see how, number one, like I said, extravagant any of these battles will get with any characters, whether it's a practice battle or it's a real official battle and how badass it's going to be and how hard these girls are going to go for like anything because if this is their dream and it seems like only one girl can be in Atome and everybody else is screwed like everybody's fighting for their own dreams and their own reason of why they want to be here and why they want to do this but I, I just hope you know, Arika makes some good friends along the way and that mm, it doesn't get as bad as I think it is because it's going to get bad. We're getting into the cutie, the cute stuff, but something tells me that probably by the end of this series like, or even at the halfway point, like a lot of shit is going to go down. We're going to find about find out the truth about Arika and then everything else. And, you know, Mashiro's going to be pissed. But like, oh, this chick's the real princess. <laughs> <laughs> just knowing her she will but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three and four of my otome if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next tuesday for everybody else for episodes five and six bye guys